shall not pass. All right, guys, so I figured I'll shoot an update video for you guys on Project Derange and what's happening with it. Um, got all the parts that I thought I needed, and it's all here. Here's the crazy part. So I thought I snapped the CV axle, and that was on the driver's side right here when uh, we went through that one big mud pit. Um, turns out the CV's good, so now we have a spare, but I have made a new discovery. So, I found this little guy right here that came through this hole somehow, shot up in here. Yeah, I know, I have to take care of these holes. I'm going to try to weld this in and figure this out because I could probably put my finger through any of this. I have to figure out a piece of sheet metal. Uh, I'm debating maybe I'll go to a uh, junkyard and just cut this pan out of a donor out of a donor and tack weld it in or maybe figure out a little bit something more uh, legit for safety purposes so it doesn't come through so parts like this don't come through. I thought it was the front CV for the axle. Turns out it is the front CV for the front drive shaft so our drive shaft is completely disconnected and that's what that piece was when it let go it actually came through this hole in the floorboard and ended up inside this kind of sets me back a little bit because now i have to find the cv rebuild kit or i might even have to replace the entire drive shaft depending on how the splines are going to be on the shaft once i take it out so I'm gonna remove the drive shaft right now and we're gonna see how it looks in there. If it's too bad, if it's really bad, then we're gonna to have to uh, replace the whole drive shaft. Off. I'm removing more mud than I am removing bolts. I have a whole pile here now. Oh boy. Might as well get this out of the way since I'm going to have to sweep this up anyway now. drive shaft out. Now I should probably get in here easier. Alright, so it's been an hour and I'm still trying to get this freaking drive shaft CV off. Uh, I am battling this. So I got two bolts that are rounded. They were just rusted and didn't want to come out. Um, I tried everything. I tried hammering on a small socket, smaller socket. Uh, didn't work, kept on slipping off. Um, next up I did was I drilled a hole in here and uh, hammered in a Torx, which I ended up breaking off in there. So that worked out great. Uh, so now, basically what I'm doing is I'm cutting them off because I could slide this whole thing off and then I could work those bolts out somehow uh, with pliers or something. At least I'll be able to get in here versus having to go over this, uh, the trans mount basically. So what I've been doing is I've been trying to cut this 
bolt off, so I cut the other one off. This was a pain in the ass. Party's not over though. I gotta get these bolts out. But at least that's gonna be a little bit easier now. Now I could I could even uh, use uh, pliers or whatever from this side. Well, here you have it. Something that was supposed to be super simple and easy to take out. Just a couple of bolts, slide it out, replace. Uh, it turned out to be like a three hour project of trying to get this stupid thing out. So we have completely obliterated the inside of this. Grab some super clean. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how badly damaged the splines on this are. Oh, actually, it's not too bad. So it looks like the seal was originally, the seal broke and we had some water get in here and mud and I think that's what helped this get completely destroyed. All right, so I got the spline all cleaned up and uh, I'm just shocked that it wasn't that, like this actually didn't snap with what we put it through. Um, I'm gonna lube up this side as well while I got it out here, make sure this is all nice and tight. Um, if I need to replace it, I think I have a new one. This is my main concern. Get this, got to get this part ordered up. I guess for now it's going to be a two wheel drive dingleberry up until I get this so I can get the drive shaft back in there. But damn, this thing just came apart. Now granted, you know, this is a Durango. It's not a Jeep or, um, these things are not meant for what I'm putting this through. Um, the Durango is really not designed to even be off-road, in my opinion, with the crappy suspension up front and uh, the CV axles and the fact that the drive shaft has a CV on it is kind of stupid. Um, I guess if, you know, if I keep having an issue with this, um, I might actually come up with another... Uh, universal joint or something to just weld it up on here um, and do a completely maybe different drive shaft setup if if that's going to be the case if this thing actually continues to live if I let it live uh, <laughs> I have discovered why I have so much play in my steering wheel because these bolts that are holding the rack and pinion are completely backed out and loose so I'm gonna tighten the crap out of them and we'll see if it'll help with actual steering being so loose oh wow I mean they're like completely backed out I'm surprised I didn't lose the nut on either side <laughs> all right so uh, dingleberry is full of all sorts of surprises wasn't expecting for the rack and pinion uh, nuts to be loose, but then again, I thought it was because the, the tie rods were completely shot. I mean, that probably helped, but those uh, rack and pinion screws being so, or bolts being so loose, that's what probably set it off completely. All right, let's, let's take it for a quick spin and see how the steering is doing. And I already feel one of my injectors starting to uh, crap out on low RPM. So I might have to do an injector replacement before we go. All right, let's go take it on a test drive. Wow. I have 
drive steering so much better now. Holy cow, night and day difference. Steering wheel still off center as hell, but whatever, I don't care. It drives. All right, so this video was supposed to be an all-in-one with us fixing it and taking it off-road and all that good stuff. Well, the problem is I ran into something I wasn't expecting, and I should have checked, but I didn't because I don't care. Um, <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna we're gonna get this done. I'm gonna figure out the floor pan over here so my feet are not dangling Flintstone style, and. Um, We'll get this thing in the mud for you guys. So I figured I'll do this video then anyway as an update so you guys know what's going on on Project Deranged. Make sure you smash that like button and uh, subscribe button so uh, you can see us getting this thing uh, all sorts of dirty. As soon as I get some some new balls for my shaft, we'll, uh, we'll get this thing out of the mud. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you. This piece of Take it. You like that? I dare you to make some more noise. What the? Seriously? For real, like, oh, that's a little better. You, you gotta be All right, now we're done.